Welcome back to another quick tip. In order to accurately communicate the physical properties of your labels, it's important to apply materials and textures to them. Of course, you can simply add a label to your surface and run with those default settings, but let's dive in and learn how to push the realism even further by manipulating those materials and textures. When a label has been added to a material, it'll show up in the Labels tab of the material it's been applied to. When a label is selected from this list, you can view its type, properties, textures, and mapping parameters below. By default, the label's material is going to be set to plastic. To change this, just select a material type from the dropdown or drag and drop a material from the library onto the label in the list. The associated label properties and textures will update according to the type you've selected. You can adjust your parameters here in the label properties tab, just like you would for any other material. And to quickly make changes to the position of your label, head over to the diffuse thumbnail and use these mapping controls below. Just make sure you have an accurate mapping type selected. In this case, with this bottle here, cylinder makes the most sense. And if you're looking to create multiple color variations of that label, that is super easy. Just bring in a white version of your label and use the blend with color option. Duplicate that label and change that blend with color option as many times as you'd like to populate that list with your different color variations. And assigning textures to labels is just as easy. You can drag and drop a texture map onto the thumbnail, select a procedural texture from the dropdown, or if the parent material has a bump already assigned, you can select the from parent option. If you have multiple labels and you want that parent bump map to show through all of them, go to the parent materials texture tab, select the bump thumbnail and enable apply bump to labels. This will also provide you with the benefit of freeing up that labels bump channel to add in additional bump maps. For example, you might wanna copy over the label by holding alt to give it some thickness. And then when mapping textures, it's also important to be aware of that sync option. If we were to assign an opacity map to this label and we like to adjust its scale independent of the label scale, we must first disable sync to do so. As you can see, there's just a lot of flexibility here with labels. So to more accurately visualize and communicate your designs, make sure to check out those material and texture options. Thanks for watching this key shot quick tip. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and subscribe for more helpful content. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with a friend.